Hello everybody, this is Tony from Multi Holsters and Multi Molds and I want to do a quick instructional video on uh, our new split molds. Uh, they've been incredibly popular but a couple of guys have had some questions regarding the split molds so I thought I'd do a really quick video. I do plan on doing a more detailed video uh, here within the next couple of weeks but for right now I want to do something for just a couple minutes long that will kind of get you through to see the versatility and uh, you know what you can do with these split molds. So if you come up a little bit, uh, basically the split molds way we've been sending them out is uh, on one solid board. Uh, you are more than welcome to um, cut these and, and modify them to make them work for you. Uh, what we've been finding is uh, some of the guys have been having trouble, um, you know, this spacing may be a little bit too close. If it is, well, don't be afraid to, uh, to cut the boards. What I do on this one here was I actually cut it and I took that, uh, there was three eighths of, a, of an inch in between there, and I actually cut a board, and this here is a half inch strip, it actually works a little bit better. So uh, for this video, basically, uh, you know, I wanted to uh, do a uh, taco style or a fold over style holster. The other thing that you can do is if you wanted to add in retention, these are eighth of an inch thick. So eighth of an inch plus eighth of an inch is going to give you a quarter inch basically plate and, and the holster. Of course you've got your block, however you're going to do your blocking, or if you're going to do straight draw, FBI forward cant, left hand, right hand, mid rise, deep concealment, whatever the case may be. Um, so basically I did a uh, press and this is what came out of it. Um, this is of course using, I got to give a plug to uh, HD for his uh, vacuum former. It's a very uh, good former. I'm very impressed with it so far. I'm having a lot of good luck with it. But uh, basically, this is what I got out of it. If you need, you know, a lot of times if you have uh, aftermarket sights or, or anything like that, you need to uh, put a little bit more room in between the sight channel. Well, all you got to do is just cut a, a little bit of a larger board in between and make it, you know, work for you. This is quarter inch material. I wouldn't go any more than three eighths because we're using three eighths of a material. But once you heat this area up, it kind of becomes uh, fluid anyway and it's going to be going around a mold. So after we got that, essentially what I did was I took a, uh, a mold gun and wrapped it right around. I put it in the middle of a strip heater, heated it up and right around the mold. So basically, and you can see right where I have the quarter inch material where it's blocked out, that eighth of an inch. And then of course you cut it and make it work for you and you got a, a uh, uh, inside the waistband. Now if you wanted to uh, make an outside the waistband hol holster, a lot of guys have been asking me how to do that. Um, if you got these smaller formers, like uh, the blue light formers or some of the other homemade formers, and you have a smaller table, uh, basically all you want to do is just cut, this is a 3 8 inch piece of plywood, and you know you want to basically raise it up to the same platform, the height of the, uh, of the, the height that we have on the mold, and you can do uh, one side at a time if you have a smaller table. If you have a bigger table like this, this is the uh, 200 HD, you can do it all as one. Now what I did was I took a couple pieces of scrap and you know I did a vacuum form. All you got to do is just basically um, put it together now, cut off the excess, put this together and you'll get this. This is uh, the same thing what I just did here. Obviously you shaped it, formed it and whatnot. And no shake, no rattle. Um, and uh, that's basically what you get for an outside the waistband. So what I'm saying is don't be afraid to cut the boards. If you have to cut them, space them out, do whatever you have to do. I'm actually thinking about cutting the boards and making them come in two halves. That way it kind of makes you put the, uh, you know, figure out what works for you. What we were doing was what we were doing a um, your butterfly molds. Now these still work. A lot of guys just like these halves. And if you want to get them, you know, just get a hold of me. We can supply these. But what happens is when we cut these or you know machine them in half, you can see how thin this plastic gets. When you add heat and you, when you add pressure, you know things start to warp. Plastic starts to warp. That's why we mounted them to the board and you can see it's it's quite a bit more material so these in my opinion are going to last a little bit longer you're going to get a little bit more versatility out of them and they're going to uh, take more they're going to be more resistant to heat and more resistant to pressure so if you have any questions that's pretty much all I wanted to go over today but if you have any questions please by all means try to get a hold of me I am at Tony at multiholsters.com or multi multi molds at yahoo.com and um, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, please, please get a hold of me. And uh, I hope to talk to you soon in the next video. Thanks.